Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk about the new movie, Alien Romulus. If you end up enjoying this video, please consider liking and subscribing. That way I don't have a little baby xenomorph burst out of my sternum. The synopsis is as follows. Space colonizers come face to face with the most terrifying life form in the universe while scavenging the deep ends of a derelict space station. So without further ado, let's get into the six things that make a movie great. One, the plot. The movie opens with this cast of characters on a separate planet in the midst of a mining colony living rather unhealthy lives. They're all trying to get off the planet and not end up like their parents who almost all died in the mines. One of them happens to catch wind of a space station just off planet that supposedly has enough cryosleep chambers for them to get into and then go to a different planet a long ways away. They decide to get on a ship, fly out there, try to do this heist, and that's when all hell breaks loose. In order for this plot to work, there were a lot of really convenient things things that had to happen. So besides the plot holes that you have to ignore to accept the story, this movie kept you in it for the entire time. But as my cousin pointed out, since this technically is a Disney reboot of Alien because they purchased 20th Century Fox, it kind of did what The Last Jedi did for Star Wars. It's very reminiscent of one of the original films, and so a lot of what you're seeing you feel like you've seen before because you have. And while this movie is directed by Fede Alvarez, so it adds an element of horror to it, it just didn't seem like it leaned that way enough. And one of the most unfortunate parts of all is that the aliens didn't really do a ton in this movie. In fact, one could argue that they weren't even the main antagonist. The buildup for this movie was pretty good, but where you get at the end, it just kind of felt anticlimactic and kind of fell on its face for me. For me, plot gets a 50-50. Two is family friendliness. Alien Romulus is rated R. There's a mild to moderate bit of profanity and a handful of disturbing moments, including blood and gore. Honestly, for an R-rated movie, this one is pretty tame. I think I've seen PG-13 movies that feel a lot worse. The whole concept of the aliens and the face huggers is pretty scary though, so use your discretion, but for me, family friendliness gets a 50-50. Three is acting and script. There's a very small band of actors in this movie. Even though Rain's robot brother Andy is not the main character, I do think that David Johnson's performance was the best out of everyone. And Kaylee Spaney did a serviceable job as Rain. Spike Fern by far had the most irritating performance out of everybody, and I can honestly say that I don't think I understood a single full sentence that he said. I do like Archie right now, but he had this thing where for the first part of this movie he was kind of talking like Miley Cyrus, and at that point I wanted something to burst out of my chest and kill me. And the script of this movie did not impress me that much. There was a handful of really cheesy lines, and a lot of the dialogue between characters, especially once you get onto the space station, just seemed like it was to fill space. <laughs> There was no substance to it, and there could have been. So for me, acting and script get a 50-50. Four is character development. What's most frustrating to me is not that this movie didn't have character development. It's that they laid good framework for character development, and then just didn't develop anyone. I get it. In these claustrophobic horror movies where everybody's dying, there doesn't really feel the need to build character development, but they had the framework laid for something to matter, and then just stopped developing the characters. And that was really frustrating, because if this this movie had gotten me to care about the characters, that could have been a whole different ball game. But as it is, you don't give a rip about them. So character development for me gives a thumbs down. Five is visuals and CGI. Like the trailer showed, there are some very vivid visuals in this movie. And I think that those great visuals are one of the main reasons why you were able to stay so engaged in this movie. However, some of the practical effects looked like they were from a cheap Halloween horror house. And you see them frequently. In addition to that, a lot of the CGI in this movie is trash, especially with Rook. I thought it was just going to be a cameo, and you're like, oh, way to pay tribute to that. Okay, now get it off screen. No, Rook was a big part of the movie, and you got to see the major eyesore that his CGI was for a lot of the film. I was really hoping that the xenomorphs in this movie would look like Alien Covenant, because in my opinion, while that whole movie wasn't great, the CGI xenomorphs in that movie were actually terrifying, but in this movie, they look pretty good, other than that they're always shown in a dark lighting, so you can't really see them, but they're more like the original look that the aliens had. So besides the good visuals, for me, visuals and CGI get a thumbs down. And six is rewatchability. Alien Romulus is just under two hours long, and I don't know if it's because you're stuck on a space station, there's not enough new happening, or what, but it felt like this movie was well over two hours long. There does come a point near the end of the film where you think it's ending and then it goes on for another 10 to 15 minutes, and that doesn't help its case either. I think if this movie leaned way more into the horror element, involved the aliens more, and had more of an original story, that it would have been
been a better film, but what we got is kind of a Disney rehashing of the original. This movie wasn't all bad, but I'm not going to watch it again. So for me, rewatchability gets a thumbs down. With all these areas considered, I have to give Alien Romulus a 5.5 out of 10. This movie kept you engaged the whole time. There was a splash of horror to it. It had a couple manageable acting performances and a couple decent visuals. But some of the acting was really irritating. The script was cheesy and empty. The character development framework went nowhere. The CGI was terrible. And the plot was unoriginal and kind of fell on its face at the end in an anticlimactic and predictable way. I had a lot of hype going into this movie knowing that it was going to be more of a horror movie and maybe that's my own fault but I was pretty disappointed. So with all that in mind if you like the Alien franchise you'll probably want to go see this one in theaters but for a more general audience I don't think you'll mind waiting until it comes out on streaming platforms to check it out. Thank you so much for watching. If you've seen Alien Romulus please let me know what you thought about it in the comments below. As always I appreciate your love and support and I'll catch you guys and gals in the next one.